Who's funnier? Her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely funnier. <laughs> Action. Am I the the happy girl with it? I was actually only 21 when I met James. James is 23. How would I describe James when I first met him? A little bit cocky, tad bit arrogant, but also very kind of endearing. Clearly something drew me in, so yeah. <laughs> First impression of James, very likeable lad. You described him as a friend to begin with, and then it was, no, I'm actually quite fond and um, he was a lovely lad, tall and handsome. You don't necessarily think that anything bad is around the corner because you, you kind of think you're invincible at that age. I get it. I'm something was wrong. Nah. This was disturbing. I'm a with sharing my words. Nobody knew what it was. James didn't know, some didn't know, and the physicians didn't know really. I think the most frustrating thing was trying to get answers from the specialists. So, you know, I took it upon myself just to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. It was really important to understand what was wrong with him, essentially. James has always been somebody who prides himself on going out to work and being able to make a living. James was a very successful plumber. So when it came to the, the point where he was actually physically unable to do his work, that's when I really saw James's mindset deteriorate. For the first time in my life, I did not know what was happening with my own body. Looking back, it's actually really hard to believe now that he was in that space. It was a really dark space for him. He kind of became reclusive. He wouldn't go out with friends um, and even family socials he really struggled with. It was very difficult for them. They were at rock bottom. He needed answers and nobody was coming up with them. We really felt like we had a breakthrough when James was discovered by a nurse from the States and she found him through his social media and we then figured out that the most likely cause for his dystonia was from a previous injury that was probably caused by playing rugby and repeated head traumas. I felt like this was one of the biggest shifts for James. It kind of gave him the power to understand and know what his condition was. This was a turning point. Finally, I knew what I was dealing with. <laughs>